So Thales was the uh, is considered the first philosopher of Western civilization, and a, um, likewise the first scientist. And he lived about 2,500 years ago. And there's a theorem named after him, although sometimes people ascribe this theorem to Pythagoras. But anyway, they all lived around the same time and did a lot of the same work. So Thales' theorem says... If A, B, and C are points on a circle, and the line A, C is a diameter of the circle, then triangle A, B, C is a right triangle. Um, so if I have these three points on a triangle, and I'm looking at the line segments that would connect these, these three points, um, say like from A to B is 5, and from B to C is 12, and from A to C is 13, and it so happens that the diameter of, of um, the circle is 13 as well, 13 units. Uh, the di diameter being the line segment that connects two, uh, whose two endpoints are on the circle and which goes through the center. Um, so if the diameter of the circle is also 13, then lo and behold, this is a right triangle. And you can see that, right, you know, uh, f um, 5, 12, and 13 is a Pythagorean triple. 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. Um, anyway, so if, if this, if the, what could be the hypotenuse of a triangle has the same length as the diameter of a circle, then that triangle is necessarily a right triangle. Well, conversely, if a right triangle is inscribed within a circle, then its hypotenuse is the diameter of the circle, right? So it just goes the other way. So um, here we've got a, a right triangle inscribed within a circle, meaning the circle passes through all three of its vertices. Um, and we could we could apply the converse of Thales' theorems by asking what's the area of this circle? Well, this is a right triangle, and it's inscribed within a circle. So we know its hypotenuse is the diameter of of the circle, so we could uh, we could use a little Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the hypotenuse is. So three squared plus four squared equals c squared. Three squared is nine. Four squared is sixteen. Nine plus sixteen is twenty-five. So c is equal to five. Square root of twenty-five. So that's five. So that's the diameter by the converse of of Thales' theorem, that is the um, diameter of the circle. Um, the hypotenuse of a right triangle inscribed within a circle is, is also the diameter, uh, the length of the diameter. Um, so uh, the area of a circle is um, pi r squared, r being the radius. The radius is half the diameter, so the area would be uh, pi times 2.5 squared, um, like that, so whatever that is, um, 2.5 squared times pi, you know, about 20 units there. So that's it, so Thales' theorem, if A, B, and C are points on a circle, and the line AC is the, has the same length as the diameter of the circle, then the triangle uh, formed by A, B, and C is a right triangle. Conversely, if a right triangle is inscribed within a circle, then the length of its hypotenuse is the same as the length of the diameter of the circle.